We had an amazing time flying the Lofeld over the last two days, but today we're heading back home, which means crossing the escarpment at almost 8,000 feet. A challenging climb in a heavily loaded, low power bush plane. Okay, so we're just waiting for a temperature to get up a bit. Um, so basically, as I said last night, what we're going to do is uh, we're taking off at ACV at about 1,700 feet, uh, which is the elevation here. Then we can pretty much do a slow cruise climb to Sabi. Uh, we need to be about 5,000 feet at that point. Uh, we can definitely do that. But then the next little stretch there, we need to be 8,000 feet to cross it. I don't think we are going to be able to um, just keep climbing do a max rate of climb and actually clear that. So what we might do is we might just circle at Sabi uh, two or three times uh, to gain height before we continue on to cross these um, ridges and mountains at 8,000 feet. Basically traffic in Nijula Charlie lining up and rolling runway 01 after lift off, left and out, routing to Sabi area. Yeah. Valley we're going up. Now we're doing a cruise climb. And still maintaining 300 feet per minute. Low level traffic, AZV area. Here's Charlie, Sabush Baby Airborne from AZV Airfield. Three miles to the west of the field at uh, uh, creation of 3,000 feet, climbing 5,000 feet, routing to the Sabi area. Here's Charlie. Oh, also please, though. I think he just crossed it on uh, Kruger Special Rules. Which I'm not in. Looks like a T10 and he's moving. Okay, so we want to be 5,000 feet at our next waypoint. Uh, we're already above that. Traffic in the Kruger Special Rules is on the 2 on 2, Charlie 210, uh, Express Civil to Kruger International, 4,500 feet. Coming up, uh, 14 nautical miles inbound to Kruger, changing over Kruger style 119, just 1 2. Traffic AZV area, uh, here's Julius Charlie's Bush Baby, 10 miles to the west of AZV, uh, 4,500 feet, climbing 5,000 feet, routing Sabi, Julius Charlie. Uh, last caller, Victor Sierra Alpha, I'm now passing uh, 4,200 on the descent for 2,500, so we should be clear. So our uh, slow climb begins as we're gaining altitude, we have less power. And now I can't really maintain a cruise climb in 80 anymore. Well, I need to slow down. Charlie. It's crazy to think we have to clear those mountains. Right? Well, I'm going to take Charlie's angle up the midfield right downwind runway. Oh. We're not going to make it to our final um, circle. No level traffic, Sabi area, Indo Dillard Charlie, Bush Baby Ave, Sabi, 5,600 feet. We'll be doing uh, one orbit and then proceeding to the west, uh, routing to the Ladenburg area, Indo Dillard Charlie. We're actually climbing good now. Even in the turn. Alright, let's proceed. So now we're going to switch from a cruise climb to a max rate of climb at 70. So it's just going to be a bit slower, but we're going to climb more. And then we're almost done with our climb. As we briefed before, if I encounter a violent downdraft or rotor, I'm just going to turn that way towards the low ground. 
can. But I don't think the wind is strong enough to, to really do anything. Leidenberg area, India Junior Charlie's Bush Baby, far far to the south east of Leidenberg, 7,300 feet to Lucy, Johannesburg, India Junior Charlie's. It's, it's so weird to think that we are in this machine up in the air, flying. Think about it. Level traffic, Goldstrom area, here to the Charlie's Bush Baby, three miles to the west of Kuena Dam, 7,200 feet to the city, Johannesburg, here to the Charlie. like this from the ground. Um. Did he do through? Yeah. Okay. So speaking under correction, but uh, I think Dolstrom is the highest city in South Africa. So uh, the city with the highest elevation above sea level at about 6,000 900 feet, just a bit less than 6,900 feet. No level traffic, Dolstrom area, India Junior Charlie's Bush Baby, one mile to the south of Dolstrom, 7,600 feet to reach in Johannesburg, India Junior Charlie. And now it's all downhill. So we are back home. We had a nice flight back. It was a never ending climb to clear those ridges. So we almost had to go to 8,000 feet. So what was better, uh, Blyder Canyon or Drakensberg? Blyder Canyon. 
Okay, she says Blighter Canyon. What's the better of the two? So if you haven't seen it yet, check out the Drakensberg three-part series by clicking on this video.